In this video, we are going to show you how to replace your AC condenser cooling fan. Let's get started. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we need to do is come right over to our negative battery terminal. We'll use a 10 millimeter, loosen this nut just enough that we can remove the wire from the top of the battery. Set it aside so it's making no contact. The first thing we have to do to remove the grill from the area is to make our way along the top. You're going to be looking for four locking tabs. I'll show you what one looks like. The area that you're looking for is this right here. It looks like a square and has a little slot in it for a flathead screwdriver. On the other side of that, you'll notice that it has two locking clips. It's important to note because if you can't turn this part to unlock it, you can also generally make your way behind and squeeze this to release it. I already have this one out of here because I showed you it already. To release these side clips, you can either use some curved pliers and get inside there to squeeze the two tabs, or gently make your way in between the headlamp assembly and the grill itself and gently pry it. Do the same on the other side. Once you have each of those broken free, you'll find directly under them one more tab on each side. Carefully get in between and gently separate it. Now we're going to have to make our way underneath the bumper inside of this lower grill area. You're going to find three more of those tabs. One on each side and one on the center. Go ahead and give them a little twist and separate them. If you were to find that you were having an issue turning these with a flathead screwdriver, you can also use the backside of a 3 8 drive extension, the square port. There we are, let's move along to the center. And then our last one. Now that I have all of them broken free, I'll carefully remove the grill. Now that we have the grill off, we're gonna move along to our airbag sensor. Before you continue on by starting to take this apart, you need to make sure it's been at least 10 minutes since you disconnected that battery. Obviously it took a little while to remove the grill, so you should be good to go. After that, you're gonna move along to your two 12 millimeter headed nuts that hold this in place. Leave that one on there a little loose. Do the second one. Inspect your hardware as you remove it. You want to be extremely careful with this. We'll set it aside delicately. Now let's move along to the wiring that goes to the fan. We'll carefully get in this area with either a small pick or a screwdriver, squeeze on the locking tab, and gently remove it. Quick peek for corrosion, assuming it looks good, set that aside. Now let's move along to our one eight millimeter mounting bolt. Grab that fan, give it a little wiggle, and lift it up and out of the vehicle. There it is, friends. Okay, friends, now it's time to install our brand new cooling fan. Before we slide it into place, I want you to have a look at the bottom of the fan. You'll notice that you have two areas that protrude down, and if you were to look into the vehicle, you'll find that you have two holes for those pins to line up with. Let's slide this into position.
Once you have it lined up, the top hole should line up as well. Install your upper mounting bolt, snug it up. Now torque this to 54 inch pounds. Let's continue on to the crash sensor. Slide it right onto those studs. Put on your protective bracket. Once that's on there, start on both of the nuts, bottom them out, and then torque them to 11 foot pounds. Once it's fully mounted, continue on with the wiring harness. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a tug to make sure it's completely secure. Now on the front of the vehicle, you remember we had a whole bunch of locking tabs that held that grill in place. We're gonna remove them from the body of the vehicle and transfer them to the grill. To do that, you can grab onto the two tabs located up top and down bottom and remove it. Once you have all of those out, we'll slide them into the grill and then slide the grill into place. Now it's time to take those clips and put them in place in the grill. That's going to be very simple overall. You just take it and then slide it all the way over. Do the same to all. There's four across the top and three across the bottom. Once you have all of those in there, we're going to carefully slide the grill into place, making sure that we align all of our alignment pins with their corresponding holes. Once you feel as though you have all of them lined up, we're going to continue on by slowly pressing this in, being very careful not to damage the grill. Give it a wiggle to make sure it's completely secured to the vehicle. Now the next thing you want to do is reconnect your negative battery terminal. Slide it all the way up against the battery and tighten that mounting nut. Make sure it's completely secured. Okay friends, we've got the truck back together. At this point, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and close the hood. Take it for a road test, make sure you don't hear any rattling coming from the front end. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.